Hi, you guys. Welcome. Welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny, and I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker, and today is show and tell number 27. We are super late on getting this up. So last week I did film a show and tell, not just the uh, review videos and stuff like that, but loss. Um, <laughs> uh, the very first video I had filmed was actually show and tell number 27. And for some reason that one didn't take, it had massive holes in it and was skipping once again. And it was just completely unusable, disjointed, made zero sense. So I had to skip that and I just never got back around to refilming. Good news for you guys, I have a lot more stuff to show you and talk about, but bad news for me is I'll be stuck sitting here filming three different videos again today. And we will be saying a Hail Mary that they all take, because otherwise it's going to be a couple more weeks before I can sit down and do this again. Um, the move is going well so far. We actually, I've got about 40, a 45 minute window right now to film. Uh, we have our second realtor coming in for an appraisal in this property today. Um, tomorrow we are doing a walkthrough of some houses up in Charlotte. Um, yesterday we had an appraiser come in. I am packing yarn. Obviously my fabric wall is more or less packed. I do have one more box of fabric down here left to go, but I'm out of medium sized boxes. Um, Troy started his new job. He's now spent a full week doing his new thing. So it's been, a uh, a fairly hectic week. Um, there's been a lot of back and forth and a lot of phone calls and a lot of appointments. So I haven't gotten a lot of stuff done this week, but I've gotten more done than I have the pre previous week. Um, I am planning the projects to take to our corporate housing. That will be a glorious granny in squares. Um, I have the Yarna one from Hannah here. I have my Happy Mailbox from Mary. Um, so I do have a lot of stuff that will be going with me. Um, we could be in corporate housing anywhere from one month to three months or four months, uh, depending on how long it takes to sell this house and to purchase a new house. So <sighs> I just have to keep reminding myself, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Um, it's been non-stop here um but yeah it's it's we're getting progress it's still stressful I still feel uh I, I mean just the process of trying to get this house ready to show y'all have seen my craft room in the past you know how much stuff I have in here and it's not exactly stuff that makes this house more desirable necessarily uh, I think so most people would use this room as a game room for children not yeah anyway um, I do have a happy mail to show and I have projects to show, but I would like to start off by sharing my hashtag, where is Irish Mary coffee mug. Uh, as many of you know, Becky over at funny farm crochet and I are, we just adore Mary Todd from Mary's crochet chit chat. And we have always joked uh, with Mary that we wish we could squish her down, put her in her pocket, and carry her around with us, especially while she calls us things like cows, uh, and having her insult us. Uh, Becky made a doll, and that is what's on the cover of that, or on the front of my mug. Um, Mary said if she ever sees merchandise, she'll kill us, and of course, Becky found somebody who could make us some mugs. Um, yeah, so, hi, Mary. Mary does also have her own mug, and, uh, Carl over at Crochet CJ also has one, but, um, I love you, Mary. All right. Let's get to the stuff you're actually here to see. First off, happy mail from Carla over at Crochet CJ. When I tried to film this, I was only going to tag two separate channels and she was one. Um, she sent me some of her beautiful hand dyed yarn. So I've got to figure out what to make with this. 
this will be coming with me to the corporate housing because I want to come up with something to do with it. It's so pretty. And when you actually pull this out, I mean, you can just see how you've got the beautiful tones of the pinks, blues, and purples, which as I keep saying, carry in a colorway, pink, blue, and purple. I am very, very excited. Just saying. Uh, I will probably not get to dyeing my own yarn until after this move. So I went ahead and it's not boxed up per se, but it is sitting in the mailer, mailing box over there. And this is the other Hank and it's just this gorgeous tonal pink, bright, bright pink. My lighting is not great. I literally have a wall of boxes sitting right here beside me. So unfortunately I will not have great lighting today and may or may not have great lighting for the rest of the time we're in this house. We'll just say. Um, she sent me a skin on girl pin and then I got a bunch of stitch markers. So as I said, I've already filmed this once and everything's all over the place. So she got some nitpick stitch markers. Ooh, wow. I almost never get glare like that on here. Oh, he's got a little face. Oh, a little alpaca. Gorgeous fleur de lis. Maltese cross. I got two little sheepy stitch markers. These are identical with their little sheepies. They got these cute little sheepy faces. But what I love the most about them are there cute little sheepy butts? Oh, come on camera. There we go. <gasps> Look at that little sheepy honey. It's so cute. I got two of those. But now I'm not saying I'm the black sheep of our crochet group. But in general, I am the black sheep. So she sent me a black sheep knitting marker. So yeah, I got some beautiful stitch markers, gorgeous yarn, a beautiful pen. So I'm pretty excited. I'm one of those people, I don't think you can ever have too many stitch markers unless you make them yourself. And then we also have a card, which that is for me, not for you. And I can set the mailer aside to go in the bin. Um... So that was my happy mail. I did do a Hobby Lobby clearance haul. I'm not going to walk you guys through my angry shopping from the other day. I, I definitely did some frustrated angry shopping. And not only did I go to Hobby Lobby, I also went to Trader Joe's and bought some of my favorite junk food. And uh, I've been spending the last couple days just kind of indulging. A little puffy from it, but it's okay. Um, next up on our finished objects whirlwind tour here, I did finish, um, a Delaney hat. This is using four colors of the scrap yarn from, uh, my premier DIY or yeah, the gradient kit yarn. I did the knit hat and I was talking about how clever it was for the way they hid the join for the first row of stitches in each new color. Um, but there's that. And that turned out super adorable. Um, it, yeah, it's going to be a day of, uh, uh, I finished another Hill 60 hat. Um, this one's for a little bit younger head. And I think I'm going to send these up to Amber at Ooh Ah Crochet. She is doing a Mal. Um, she's specifically focusing on school children. Um, she has asked for donations for her school. She's in an underserved district. So I will probably be sending those up to Amber sometime this summer, uh, by, either by the end of the Mal or something. 
everything's going to be cattywampus. Even if I get it done in time, I may not get it sent in time. So we'll just play it by ear and see how it goes. But I am taking my, uh, all the yarn that's on my cart for donation hats. I will be taking that to the, um, corporate housing. Uh, we, we hope to eventually have this house more or less box packed and ready to go. Uh, and then it will be just ready to be seen anytime. Uh, we need to get the cats out of here so we don't have to worry about people. Yeah. Many of you guys have moved. You understand what I mean. Um, y'all sold houses before too, so you know what I'm going through. Um, but I would eventually like to get to where this house can be closed down and it's just bare nubbins, looks clean, get it on the market. Um, the next thing I have is this textured highly textured dishcloth. It's called Diamond Stitch or something like that. Um, the pattern was written for DK Yarn. I used worsted weight. I was trying to use up this ball of pink. I actually really like this. This will be great for cleaning the um, cleaning countertops and stuff. The stitch itself is a little weird. I've never done something where you alternate a rib stitch to create a different form of texture. So... I did get that done. I made three little soap sacks in various styles using the Red Heart Softy Smoothie. That video will be coming up too. I can't find my ball bands and I'm wondering if I left them up here or something, but I do want to run a comparison of the Red Heart Creme de la Creme and the Softy Smoothie. They are very different to each other and very different when compared to peaches and cream and sugars and cream and things like that as far as dishcloth cotton goes. So, very exciting. And my last finished object for the last two weeks is my May block from the Jada and Stitches Cow. Um, I have not done week 10 of the Unraveled Mitten yet. That will probably have to wait till like Monday, Tuesday for me to get started. And I don't know if she's going to double up two weeks in a row since she missed one week for vacation and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's where I am on my finished objects for the last two weeks. I got some happy mail. I've been boxing and packing things. I did go angry shopping and purchased more yarn than I needed. I did take advantage of the premier uh, Memorial Day sale. And I got a whole bunch of the candy shop in the super bright colors. I also got the electric blue, violet purple or ultraviolet purple, and the hot pink uh, Premier Everyday yarn. I did get five balls of the gray as well. I've said it before, gray is one of my most favoritest neutrals to work with because it's great for men's stuff and women's stuff, especially when you donate a lot of items. So very excited about that. Um, I do have a couple projects that are in the whip stage that will hopefully be finished objects over the next couple weeks. Um, I did start on a lovey and I really did think I'd have it done by today, but I did not spend a whole lot of time working on things. By the time the realtor left last night, we ate dinner and I pretty much cleaned up the kitchen and went to bed. <laughs> and I, I got up at seven and had to pick up again downstairs, make sure everything was nice and neat for them to come in and do their property assessor thing and, uh, make the bed and of course get dressed and all that stuff. So, I mean, it's, it's nine fifteen in the morning on Saturday morning, so it's not late today, but that's pretty much it. I mean, it's my, uh, June bingo video that I'm getting ready to film will be a little bit more intensive, but not by much. It was a very slow month for me and I'm not even going to apologize for it because everybody who's watching this has had to move at least once probably. So it's, uh, you understand the packing and prepping and thinking and doing and mixing and moving and It's also different for us because our relocation company is handling so much of the move. It, um, 
they're they're physically going to box up everything for us that's not tied down and move it and unfortunately in order to get to where we can show the house we have to get rid of the clutter and we can't really there's not places to just hide things that, like not on that level so i will be going ahead and um getting some of these things packed and ready to just move and put in the guest room closet but all in all it's been an aggressive week. We should have our uh, key to corporate housing starting next week so we can start at least transitioning out of here and getting more uh, prepared to be in Charlotte full time. So <laughs> you know it is uh, very very stressful. It's very exhausting, very stressful and the mental it's it is what it is. Uh, this is a very unexpected move. It was a very unexpected job opportunity. When we bought this house, we had just drawn a line in the sand and said, absolutely not. We're not leaving. We're not going anywhere. We don't want anything in that, you know. And like I said, God spent the last two years just laughing at me. So, um, I, I'm still mentally scatterbrained. Everything's all over the place. And until I can get my arms around things, it's probably going to be a lot of videos like this where I'm just going. But I will try to still provide quality content. I will still be able to give my opinions and reviews on things. I have had a request twice now in the last week to make something with the Ferris wheel from Lion Brand and do a review on that. So I might go ahead and crank out a hat this week and just share with you guys what I think about Ferris wheel. Um, I do know if you are waiting for an opinion on it, Ross didn't do a dedicated video, but I know I talk about Ross all the time, uh, but I, he's the smells like yarn podcast. His channel is the smell great guy. Uh, he liked it. He was uh, fond of it. It washed up well. He also did a, his standard Ross hat with it. So there you go. I mean, there, there are opinions out there. Um, I am very flattered, though, that so many of you guys want my opinion as well. Uh, so hopefully this week I will get to work on uh, a hat or two out of the Ferris wheel. I have considered buying some more because there's two colorways in particular I really like. Um, but other than that, as my friend Teresa always says, keep calm and crochet on. Uh... <laughs> I hope you guys have had a wonderful week. I hope that your weekend is absolutely spectacular and that you're not 100 degrees like we have been. Uh, I hope that if you're getting rain, may it, it subside quickly. And if you're getting way too much heat, I hope you have a break in the heat because I really hope we do soon. Other than that, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. My email address is listed in the description box. I do have... Uh, one shout out, and it's not so much a shout out as um, Cindy over at Freeze Baby Fibers is trying to get to a thousand subscribers so she can use her mobile device to go back to doing her YouTube lives. It's a lot more convenient to be able to film on your phone and read comments on your computer. Um, so if you wouldn't mind going and checking out Cindy's channel, I will leave a link down below. I have talked about her a number of times on here. She is absolutely adorable. She is just sweet as she can possibly be. She is the one that sewed the um, Sugar Skull Cats bag that I have. Uh, so definitely go check out her channel. Um, stop by, say hey, give her a thumbs up. Uh, let her know you're there to support her uh, YouTube lives. Um, other than that, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'm always game for suggestions if there's something in particular you would like to see. I am still waiting on my Crochet Society box to get here, so I can't do an unboxing and initial review of that until that gets here. Um, I really don't, I don't want to sit here and just uh, stare at you guys blindly. So, Take care. I will see you guys hopefully sometime next week. And I look forward to seeing you guys real soon. Bye.